the touch point for today from the public speaking course is a continuation from what we discussed the last time, and it comes in two parts. Content is the key, and you need to make sure that when you're doing your contact, your speech, your content, learn your lines. Gives you confidence on the day. It is the most satisfying. Write it down in full. Key point for stories, you know. And do spell and grammar checks. Read and check for clarity of intent. And record your speech is where we finished off. Next, you have to listen to your speech. Listen to how you are presenting it. Because now you've recorded it, and I do this often, is I will listen to my inflections. Was my pitch too high? My pitch used to be like this. I used to speak out of my nose, and I was like really high, and it becomes irritating after a while. So I had to learn to drop my voice and bring it down into my throat and make it more deeper, and then it becomes more comfortable to the hearer. So you need to listen to yourself and then adjust accordingly. If people say you've got a rubbish voice, it's just untrained, and you can train it to any degree you want. Even if it's too high, I can teach you to bring it down. If it's too low, hey, hi, how's it going? It's just uh, too much. And we just tone it up a little. And then uh, when you practice your speech, you need to visualize it. Remember when I taught you how to articulate correctly? Uh, red lorry, yellow lorry, it's a critical cricket critic. Those lines is if you write it down and you read it in your mind, you're going to be able to say it a lot easier. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? is I'm physically reading that as I am reciting it to you. So you need to visualize your speech. You need to visualize yourself standing in front of others, your animation, don't stand still, how to use your hands, always bring your hands and, and cut them in with each other. Note your inflections and emotions, extract key points into key cards. So once you visualize everything, you've listened to your speech in the whole, how do you get it into your memory? You get little key cards, and they can fit into your pocket. They can be like a business card size, size, and you write your speech in key points. So each paragraph just has one or two sentences that helps you get through that paragraph, and you have it in little key cards, which will give you um, ideas as to what is your next thing you want to say and trigger memory of that sentence. And then you practice with the key cards, and then eventually you move into a place that you practice without key cards. You see, you're becoming an absolute professional. Practice, practice, practice. You'll be amazed how it's going to change your world. Story does continue. The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Carlard.